I now pronounce you man and... Marion, wake up. Look, I know this night wedding is taxing, but you have to stay alert. Your wedding, right? Who else's? <laughs> Where are the tuxes? Oh, I sent Tito on call again. Oh, great. My tux will be dirty and on fire. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We got the tuxes for walking that last mile, bro. <sighs> yeah, Doc. Soon you'll be in romantic lockdown forever. <laughs> Why does everyone compare marriage to prison? It's not the same. Right? <laughs> Max, come on. It's just pre-wedding jitters. I'm sure Mercedes is going through the same thing. Go, Mercedes! Is she with them? So just chill out, okay? Oh. Mom, Dad, you're early! <laughs> uh. We're just anxious to see our son get married. Huh. Another Stanton man getting ready to serve some hard time, huh? <laughs> this is so exciting, dear. Just don't go making me a grandma too soon. Oh, no, Mom. <laughs> really, don't do it. <laughs> Samson. Bentley. Cleo. Portia. <laughs> so... Where is our daughter, Mercedes? Oh, she's next door getting ready. Isn't that dangerous? What if the groom sees her? Mon Dieu! <laughs> Look, no one worry. Mercedes and I won't see each other. Well, let's just hope that the wedding isn't delayed by some L.A. crisis. Traffic jam, earthquake, sail on silicone. Excusez-moi, is there some problem having the wedding here in L.A.? I thought we settled that. We would gladly have paid to have it in Boston. Oh, yes. Nothing says class like baked beans and bad basketball teams. <laughs> what did you know about it? Hey, Marion. I just couldn't miss the wedding. I'm glad you came back. <laughs> oh. After you left New York, I just couldn't get you out of my head. Yeah. I guess I needed closure. <laughs> Never heard it called that before. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, all right? Thanks to my skill. Oh. And a bottle of wine. <laughs> Thanks. Look, I'm gonna go make sure they're okay. Okay. See you, now. See you. Hey. Mary. I'm gonna go to Tonya's and change. Oh, Natalie, wait. There's something I want to say to you about our relationship. And? And... Be careful on your way over to Tonya's. She has this homemade burglar alarm and the tin cans really hurt. Look who we found. Hey, everybody. Hey. Congratulations, oh, Mercedes. I'm so glad you made it. It's a man. No! Wait, chill. It's not Max. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ladies, ladies. In the words of a great philosopher, that's whoop, whoop. <laughs> Natasha's to bring this necklace over for Mercedes from your mother. <gasps> My mother's here. Tell her to come over. Okay, Tito, you guys can leave any time now. That's easy for you to say because over here. Another man. No! <laughs> My, my. Now either this is heaven or the house next door. <laughs> hey, 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 little sister. Chevy. Hey. <laughs> 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 Chevy, this is Tonya, my maid of honor. Maid? Nobody's taking you off the market? I can't believe that. Well, the market's been down. But interest rates are rising. <laughs> Excuse me, Chevy. Tonya? Uh, 
Tony, I feel the need to warn you about my brother. He's kind of the problem member of our family. Perfect. I'm the problem member of my family. Tony, I'm serious place for me. Don't get involved with him. Why is he a problem? I can't say I'm under family gag order. <laughs> well, I should let you get ready. But Tonya, I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Girl, you better stay married for a million years. Good for you, Tony. You can't just let these men come in here and push up. You gotta be strong. You have to... Hello, Tiffany. Graham. <laughs> Graham, what are you doing here? Baby, I know that this is a bad time, and I know we agreed to just be friends, but I have something I need to know. Oh, it is so important that I can't wait. Baby, how would you like to spend a week with me in Cancun, watching the sunsets and strolling along the beach? Well, if I can wear this outfit, I'd say let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, what did you think? The romance of this special day would make me weak for you. What? Me? Baby, I would never. Is it working? <laughs> listen, Graham, our relationship hasn't exactly been stable. You know that. Well, maybe we can change all that. Look, oh, come on. Just think about it, okay? Yeah, all right. Mary, you better start getting ready. It's almost time. Max, how did you know Mercedes was the one? I knew it when I was standing on our family's yacht. <laughs> the figures. It wasn't the yacht. Although the chef was fabulous. It was what she said to me. I said, we should go off to an island in this yacht and leave everything behind us. Mm. And she said, which one? Mm. You see, even in a fantasy, we wanted to be together. Look, I'll see you at the chapel. Best man. <laughs> hey, you the best man tonight. Congratulations. Man. Thank you. Oh, Natalie. <laughs> Natalie, I was thinking, um, why don't we jet away to a mountain resort or something? Really? Yeah. Which one? I don't know. I'm glad you asked, you know? My petite enfant, you are going to be the prettiest bride ever, unless, of course, I remarry. <laughs> Mercedes Vale, I left it at Marion's. Oh, well, we better go get it. It's time to go. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Langford? Yes. <laughs> Lovely dress. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely hair. Merci. So tell me about your son. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm not writing a single check until you have proof. <laughs> Mother. Yes? Not this time. Oh, then he's a very nice boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nothing like a man in a tux. <laughs> Thanks. Look, Natalie, I've been trying to say something to you all day. Um, I think that uh, we should make our relationship more permanent. I feel the same way, Marion. Well, in that case, Natalie, I'd like you to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh Marion, I'm sorry. You have to my I don't know what it is. I can't He's sorry. Now that's bad luck. Wait a minute. That's just a silly superstition, right? Oh, no, girl. It's true. <laughs> my Aunt Juan Bada saw her husband. She got gangrene in one night, a glass eye. Tonya! <laughs> Well, I think it's just as well because I have some serious doubts about this wedding. <gasps> doubts? What do you mean you had doubts? Don't tell me you don't have doubts, too. Yes, but we have too much class to say it unlike you, dear. <laughs> Excuse me. My parents have class. And they're not named after cars. <laughs> no, they're not. They're named Samson and Cleopatra. 
Who's your grandfather, Burning Bush? Please, let's not lose sight of what we all came here for. These two are about to take the biggest step of their lives. <laughs> Look, I know some people that are killed for their courage. And trust me, I know. Because right before you all came, I was about to face that for the very first time. I was about to ask this woman to marry me. Marion, I don't know what to say. Look, don't say anything, all right? I haven't officially asked you yet. Look, everybody, let's all go to church. We'll discuss this later, all right? Look, that's fine, but first I think that Maxwell should apologize to my parents. <sighs> sure, honey. I'm sorry. Okay, let's get this train rolling. Uh, uh, excuse me. That wasn't very sincere. Je consenti. He didn't mean it. Oh, would you quit it with the French? <laughs> Probably very cute about a decade ago. <gasps> oh. Maxwell, are you gonna stop this callous woman's assault? If anyone's being callous, it's these two vehicles. <laughs> Max, why are you being so mean to my parents? Here's a shot in the dark. They had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. Somebody grab the tail on this thing. I'm out of here. It's just as well, son. Yes, who wants a grandson named Coop DeVille? It's almost 11. The guests have been waiting for over two hours. It all seems so right. Maxwell pursued me like a knight of old, undaunted by anything. He wanted me above all else. Mercedes, I think you need something stronger than water. <laughs> Mercedes, can I talk to you for a moment? Oh, sure, Marion. You didn't come here to talk about that man, did you? No, 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 no. This is about me and that. Well, good. Perhaps I can help someone avoid making the same mistakes I did. Maxwell and I did have a whirlwind courtship. Perhaps we rushed in too soon. Two crazy kids in love, daring the fates to deny us. <laughs> you know, maybe I should date Mercedes' brother, Chevy. It's not like he did any hard time. I hope. <laughs> well, then maybe I should go with Graham. I can see now that life has no guarantees. I should just seize the moment. I'm thinking about getting my hair cut. <laughs> what can I say? I'm in a dry spell. <laughs> I don't know what's up with the hat. He never takes it off, I swear. <laughs> what, well, Marion? Uh, uh, you two need to talk. I'm sorry, Max, but I couldn't stand to see you two like this. Go on. So, Maxwell, are you ready to apologize to my parents? No. Your parents are prideful, arrogant, and elitist. Just like yours. Touche. Oops, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to speak French. <laughs> Look. You're right. Our parents are a lot alike. Look, honey. I know we love them. But we love each other, too. We can't ever forget that. And I never will, dear. So what do you say? Let's get married. I do. Aww. All right, come on. You know what? Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. What about the bad luck? Well, it's, it's almost midnight, and if we get married after 12, it'll be tomorrow, and it won't matter. <laughs> You know what? That's good thinking, Max. Let's get the guys together. Come on. Okay. I'll help the bride. Hey, we'll get them married and then talk about us. Huh?